Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. For all of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining and I hope you enjoy my content. It's usually about uh, luxury unboxings, contemporary unboxings, uh, style, comparisons, anything really about luxury or not so much luxury, anything that's in my closet that I feel is of interest and I want to share. That's kind of like what I do here. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around. If you're not new to my channel, thank you for returning. And I want to thank everybody who's new and subscribed and those who recently subscribed and helped me reach way over 500. Um, I'm really happy about that. And again, I'm asking you guys to just subscribe and like. I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers. I'd love to do another giveaway. And I, you know, I just want to make my channel grow a little bit. Believe me, this is not going to be for a living. I don't, it's, it's just not going to happen. Anyway, I'm going to get right into it because before I unbox what's in here from Fashion File, and obviously in my title, you'll know it's an Hermes piece. I want to say something really quickly. Um, I was watching the news the other day and talk, like my husband and I sit and talk all the time and he brought up a really, really interesting point and I'm not quite sure how much people are aware of this. You know when we, we, we're all being, we're all um, dealing with price increases, luxury handbag price increases. We all are on the same page when we say the price increases are ridiculous. There are, they're, they're out of control with what they're, with what they're asking for. Uh, Louis Vuitton is, canvas bags are hitting $2,000 or above. It's really becoming a little bit um, unattainable for the average you know, average household. Um, kind of when I was growing up, luxury was really for the rich and famous. And then I'm going to say over the past like 10, 15 years, it became more that, you know, if you wanted luxury, whether you were of average, low income, high income, there were ways to get it. Um, there are used place, you know, uh, consignment, used, whatever. I, I don't want to get into that. What I'm making right now is the point that, yes, we're in the middle of uh, some kind of crazy economy. Not all believe that, but when I spend $8 on a dozen eggs, there's an issue. Um, there are price increases with everything. We know gas prices have gone up, up, came down just a tad, but they're still up, up. Inflation is everywhere, and we get it. Designer houses, leather, material, transport of material. It's all, we understand, you know, things do increase. There are price increases every year. We know that. But you know who the real blame is? I don't know where you're living, but if you live in a big city or a city, you know, like New York, I'm from New York, I'm in New York. Um, if you're from, you know, the Manhattan area, if you're from uh, maybe San Francisco, if you're from those big cities that have really high-end luxury stores and whatnot. You know, if you're in the boondock somewhere, in a, you know, on a farm somewhere, you might not realize this. But if you live in New York or San Francisco or I, I don't know, where, wherever, uh, the real culprit of what's causing these handbag luxury prices to go up are the criminals, the thugs the savages that roam the street and decide they're entitled to loot and break into stores and steal all their goods. Yes, whether you want to believe it or not, my husband brought this to my attention, who has over 20 years of detective experience in a city like New York. Uh, just last week, the Givenchy store in Soho, Manhattan was looted. They bashed the windows, they broke in, and they stole $57,000 worth of goods. How are they getting that money back? From me and from you. That's how they're getting the money back. This country 
and a lot of places, you know, different cities, it's become a free-for-all. And that's because of the wonderful lawmakers that we have and the bail reform that we are trying to now again reform because it's not working. No, it's not working when you have thugs on the street that know there are no consequences when they break into a store and take thousands of dollars worth of goods. We have CVS's, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed's, all these places are closing down in New York because they can't afford to stay open because animals out there that go in with a shopping bag and just fill it up and walk out the door with no consequences. So, of course, why not break into a Louis Vuitton? Why not break into a Givenchy store? Why not? No consequences. Nothing's going to happen to them. Why not? So you know who's paying the price? We are. That's part of it. I'm not saying that's the all the reason. No, of course, we know prices go up. They do increases every year. But right now, in the last two, three years, the looting and the lawlessness that's going on in this country and in cities like New York, where you have these lawmakers that don't even want to put you in a cage if you've beaten the hell out of somebody to within an inch of their life. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you're not really interested in what I have to say, you could just fast forward and get to the unboxing. But this really was like, I, I never thought of that until my husband just said it to me. He's like, of course they're raising prices. They're being looted every single day. Every day, every week, a store is being broken into by thugs that have no consequences. So they will continue to do so. So all you rich, rich people out there who think that you're not touched by the criminal element and by what's happening, oh, you are because everything's rising. The prices are rising because they need to get their money back and they're not going to get any resolution from lawmakers so they're going to take the money from us that's right we're going to make up for the savages on the street that are stealing every day and getting away with it uh tell me what you think again this is pretty much my opinion this is also the opinion of my husband who was in the new york city police department for over 20 years and was a detective for more than half of that time. So um, he has a good idea. Maybe he doesn't know what's going on in, you know, in Tennessee or Alabama or in Texas, uh, but he knows what's happening here. And yes, that is a huge factor in the increase of luxury goods. Now I will open this baby. My video looks like it's freezing. I hope that's not going to happen when I upload it. I've been wanting a lipstick case. Oh, did I just give the secret away? And I bought a YSL lipstick case and I sent it back because it was kind of ridiculous. It's very hard to open these fashion file boxes. I don't, you don't know where to, where to start, where to end, where the openings are. Anyway, YSL lipstick case. I bought it for my, where is it? My Chanel lipstick. Bomb I bought several weeks ago, maybe over a month. I don't even remember. And no, I have not used it yet. My Chanel lip balm. I was influenced, so I decided to try it. But I haven't used it yet because I have another lip balm that's almost done. Not a designer. And I'm going to, you know, when I'm finished with that, Anyway, so I wanted a bougie lipstick case. Why? No reason. <laughs> I have no idea why a bougie lipstick case is necessary. But the YSL that was so adorable had a long chain on it and you couldn't, there was, it was not functional and it made no sense and it didn't come with a mirror. How do you have a lipstick case without a mirror? This is my Amazon lipstick case. Bought this on Amazon has a mirror. Yeah. You like to see what you're doing. So I said, I'm not going to spend a few hundred dollars on a lipstick case that doesn't have a mirror. 
and pretty much I didn't find many um, but I came across this one at Fashion File the usual uh, confetti packing nail file let's see this was listed as new I didn't open it yet I just got it I think yesterday so I'm opening it right now fashion file dust bag and it comes in this nice beautiful case Hermes case yay there we are I bought it just for the box really <laughs> no I'm kidding um anyway this is called the I can't see what it's called let me put my glasses on grained madame calfskin lip box dust bag mirror so I'm just gonna leave my glasses on so I can see okay I like the box I hope I like this I'm gonna tell you before I take it out that it's still on the Hermes site for I think 500 and I got it at fashion file for 300 with tax that to me is a little odd that fashion file would have an item that's still being sold and easy to get on the boutique site for 200 less than what retail is charging for new what is that about i'm thinking it's either nobody wants it because it's ugly or nobody wants it because it's not functional um, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason that Fashion File has this for 200 less than Hermes has it for, and it's new condition. I'm choking on my own saliva, sorry. Let's take it out and see why this is so much less. I'm going to try to take it out, but it seems to be stuck. What's stuck here? Okay, seriously? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want the tag to be pulled off because then you know. All right, here's the, uh, the tag is attached inside. Cute little dust bag. Very cute little dust bag. Let's get this out and see why my shirt is all too big on me. I'm very cash today. I have a doctor's appointment and I'm just going to hang around. Got up very early to give Coco her insulin shot. Let's see. And here it is. Oh, this is in interesting. Oh, okay. I had it upside down. I'm saying, why is it falling apart? Okay, this is what it looks like. I like red. I thought red was a great color for a lipstick case. It's leather. This is the back. You see the side sticking out here? I don't know what that's about. Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, I'll put her channel down below, said it was like, from what she knew of it, it was like origami. And maybe that's the reason that it's an issue okay it opens like this so it's this is like just a, a slot in there that you push down like this to close so I'm thinking that if this rolls around in your bag this is gonna pop open very easily um, and this is the mirror It must have that film on it. Yeah, it has that film on it because I can't see myself in it. This is the little mirror. And it goes... This is strange. I had a feeling this... Look at this. Look at the inside. Like, it is. It's like origami. It's almost like a puzzle thing that comes apart. See that? And you have to put it back together. Um, 
you know what? Now I know why it was 200 less and not selling. Um, honestly, it, this is supposed to stay closed and that's where you slip the mirror. And let's see, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the Chanel lipstick in here and see what happens. Okay, so the Chanel lipstick goes in like this. This part's supposed to stay closed. There's the mirror in the back. There's my lipstick. And it's supposed to close like this, right? Yeah. It doesn't stay closed well. I had a feeling that there was a reason why this was not selling or on fashion file for 200 less than it is on the Hermes. And it's because it makes no sense. It, it, it doesn't stay closed. The sides can, the sides can pop out. The part that holds the mirror opens up so the mirror can slide out. See that? You know what? The box is worth more than the lipstick case. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed in this. This is, this makes no sense. It's like they took a piece of leftover leather from a bag and folded it up. Like we used to do with those fortunes in school. You fold the paper up a thousand times and you go, you know, guess which one, you know, pick a color and you have your fortune. That's what this is. <laughs> this is look yeah. this can come out too this part can come out this can slide out you see what do you think of this what do you think of this this is a lipstick case from, from Hermes uh, that's $500 on the Hermes site I paid 300 not worth it. It's not even worth, well, maybe a hundred bucks. No, this is not, this is, this is, this is, uh, come on, really? Come on, Hermes, you can do better than this, seriously. I love the box and I love the dust bag, but I think this is horrible. This is horrible, look at it. This is not a lipstick case, this is, I don't know what this is. Um, so unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, it's gonna have to go back. Um, I'm really disappointed because I wanted a really nice lipstick case. And um, I'm more disappointed because I really like the box and the dust bag, but you have to send everything back. So, that was a fail unboxing. Very disappointed. But, bag of the day is my Chloe Marcy in my suede. I love this bag. This bag is beautiful. You know, I never really inspected it that closely to see if there was any issues with glazing or whatever. But, yeah, I love this bag. Absolutely love it. This holds so much. Love this bag. So uh, that's my bag of the day. Very, very cash jewelry. I'm just wearing my wedding set. I'm wearing my blue sapphire uh, stone and my studs. Anyway, tell me what you think about this whole price increase and why you really think the increase is happening. I mean, I know it's a combination. It's a combination of things, but when you really think about it, if you keep getting robbed and you keep losing all this money and the insurance companies are gonna say, all right, it's enough. How many times are you gonna get robbed? We can't keep giving you your money back. Then what are you gonna do? You're gonna jack up your prices. So tell me what you think about that. Uh, the criminals are the reason we're paying more for our handbags. And uh, also tell me what you think about this bizarre little item from Hermes. 
definitely not not a keeper anyway have a great saturday and i'll see you tomorrow with i don't know what but i'll think of something bye